in our surroundings and shapes. Examples Friends, in the previous video, we learned to identify the patterns in objects and shapes and how to build them further. Today, we will learn to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes. And we will see some interesting examples related to building them further. Mummy, can I help you in doing the work? No, Chutki. I have done all the chores. Come on, let us both play an interesting game of making patterns and building them further. Yes, we will have fun. Look, I will make a pattern with the help of these matchsticks. You have to identify that pattern and build it further. Okay. One standing matchstick, one sleeping matchstick near it. Then again two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks. Now you proceed with this pattern. Next it will be two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks again. Not like that Chitki. Look at this pattern a little more carefully. First there is one standing matchstick and then one sleeping matchstick in this pattern. Next there are two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks. It means here the number of matchsticks is increasing by one each time. Oh yes! First one one matchstick and then two two matchsticks. Yes. So how many matchsticks do you have to put next in this pattern? Three three matchsticks after two two matchsticks. It means we will put three standing matchsticks and three sleeping matchsticks. Oh wow! Well done! Now, how will you move ahead with this pattern? We will move ahead by placing 4-4 four, four matchsticks, which means 4 standing matchsticks and 4 sleeping matchsticks. Well done, Chitki. You completed this pattern in a perfect manner. Come on, now let's look at the next pattern. See, now I will make pattern with these candles. You have to complete it. Okay. Four big candles, four small candles near them. Then again three big candles and three small candles. Yes, then again we will place two big candles and after that two small candles. Yes, you are absolutely right. Now proceed with this pattern and complete it. It is easy. We have to place three big candles and three small candles after two candles. No, Chutki. Look carefully. Each time the number of candles is decreased by one. Initially, we had four four candles. After that, three three candles and then two two candles. Mm. So, this pattern will be complete if we place one big candle and one small candle beside it. Yes, well done Chitki. Mummy, I'm having so much fun. Ask me one more question on the patterns. Come on, now look carefully at this pattern and tell me, which colours do you have to fill in the unfill arrows? We have to fill green colour in two standing arrows and red colour in one sleeping unfilled arrow. Chitki, there are blue, red, green. These three colors are filled in this pattern. Now look carefully at the standing arrows in this pattern. Of these arrows, the downward arrows are filled with green color. And upward arrows are filled with blue color. And the sleeping arrows are filled with red color. Now tell me, which colors do we have to fill the following arrows with? Mm, of these arrows, first arrow is going downward. So we will have to fill it with green color. 
and we will fill the arrow going upwards with blue color absolutely right chutki next now we will fill the sleeping arrow with red color then the downward arrow is filled with green color and upward arrow with blue color wow well done chutki thank you mummy friends so today we learn to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes we also saw some interesting examples related to building the pattern further in the next video we will get to know about the common mistakes we make while identifying the patterns made from shapes